What's up, people on YouTube? And when I say people on YouTube, I mean just uh, casual viewers, uh, people that uh, follow and subscribe. We love you guys. And uh, also fellow creators. And that's mostly who this is aimed at. I started this as a hobby and I enjoy it a lot. So I found myself immersed in this hobby. I'm still a very small channel. I don't even have 100 subscribers. So you can call this a unqualified opinion if you want. And that's okay. I watch a lot of YouTube. And I think other creators do as well. I believe it's, it's research into your hobby. Uh, you follow the creators that are doing well, that are succeeding, and you, uh, and you try to follow that. But when I started this, my goal was to spread positivity. I really respect the motorcycle community. And uh, we're an odd bunch. I watched a video earlier on 10 things that only motorcyclists do. And it was, it was funny. It, it made me giggle. But one thing we do is we tend to wave and be friendly and embrace anybody else that's out there enjoying the same hobby as us. Uh, the example was brought up that uh, hockey players don't run around and wear their gear all the time and wave at anybody else that's wearing hockey gear. There were a couple other examples and it, it kind of, it made me laugh, but it made me think that we don't know each other, but we do a hobby that constantly, or instantly, I should say, instantly embraces us to one another, uh, to attracts us to one another. There are some people that I've associated with and hung out with and call brother and mean it on a daily basis that if it weren't for motorcycles, I'm not quite sure that we would have enough in common or similar attitudes to actually be friends, but somehow being on two wheels broadens your horizon to what kind of person you want to hang out with. It's kind of an odd thing, but I think the same thing kind of goes with content creators. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got the organ crud. For every different type of person, for every different type of writer, for every different personality, for every different way of approaching this lifestyle, there is a content creator out there to match. Everybody's a little bit different. And I've watched the symbiosis, is that the right word? I've watched, especially within the successful YouTube community, I've watched them bond and find their commonalities and become friends and supporters of one another. And I, I really enjoy watching that. Positivity to me is a huge thing. Not to get all new agey or anything, but I, I suffer from some uh, tendencies of, of depression and melancholy. So I try to surround myself with as much positivity as I can to, to fight that. That's my therapy, is to be around positivity and positive people and positive events. So that was the goal of my channel. Um, if you watch the things that my group, our group, but the group that I founded, uh, I, if you watch what we've done, we've done positive things. We've tried to be um, beneficial to our community and the writing community in general. I've promoted in private conversations and in my everyday life, I've promoted other content creators. I give, you know, I send them to other creators that I appreciate that have been positive and beneficial in my, I don't want to say career because I don't have a YouTube career, but in my hobby. There's been some things that have happened over throughout the years, times where I've actually turned it off. And one thing I'm not really understanding is why do we punch each other? Why do 
people on YouTube feel the need to be negative towards other people on YouTube. I don't subscribe to that. I don't like, I don't want to spend and waste my time being negative towards people that I don't even know in real life, first off. But second off, I, I, I have a goal that within the next couple of years, I want to get on two wheels and I want to tour the country. And within that tour, I am making a list and planning stops to visit and meet in person my favorite YouTube personalities. I have noticed that most of the YouTube creators I follow also do beneficial stuff for their communities, even if it is just for the writing community. You can call me Clout Jason, but I'll throw names out there. I, I'm a big fan of Adam Sandoval. If any of you know his story, you'll understand why. I don't want to get into that. Uh, Shade Tree Surgeon is another one of my favorite channels. What's Up Weirdos drives my wife crazy every time she hears it on the TV. She's had to hear it over and over for the last couple of years. Up here in the Northwest, we don't have a lot of high-profile creators. I appreciate the, the few that I have met. Uh, Harley Fatboy Jr. has been a dear brother and a dear friend uh, since I've met him a couple years ago. He doesn't have a huge channel, but it's quite larger than mine. And I've online met some other people. Bri the Biker comes to mind. A very super, super nice guy. Offered up help in his crowd. I think there's uh, Dallas Face Mullet and a couple other guys. I'm a little negligent in my names, so sorry if I forgot to shout you out. But the ones that I have met, I've had, uh, you know, I've, I've been in the chat on Professional Monkey's page and both uh, he and Mrs. Monkey are, are, are very uh, good at reaching out and making you feel welcome, making you feel like a friend, even though we've never met in person, even though we're as far away as you can possibly be from each other in this country. They've uh, <coughs> been very good at embracing people that watch their channel. The whole Northeast crew and the Great Lakes crew, you know, um, there's uh, Danny D'Lo in, in Hollywood, and then you go farther up north and you got Sosa the Ghost up there. All people that I'd like to, at, at the very least, shake their hands, say what's up. Like I said, there's other people. I'm, I'm into the automotive part of YouTube too, so a Vice Grip Garage and, and uh, Cletus McFarland and. But if you look at all these people, there's positivity. Most of these creators I mentioned do not like to put out negative content. There have been instances of drama. Some of you know the dramatic history between a couple of those creators I mentioned. But if you follow them, hopefully you didn't turn them off because of that and you stuck with them and you found out that they worked it out. They were men about it and they worked it out. And I have to have total respect for that. I watch a lot of creators that are in the actual 1% world. I know the histories of different clubs and uh, there's rivalries, as the press likes to put it. But I've also seen creators reach out beyond that and befriend each other and work with each other and do cool things. And that's what I'd like to see. I don't understand in the biker world or in the creator world why we would hate each other when nine times out of ten we don't even know each other. I, I know that it's easy to throw out dirty laundry because it gets you clicks. So again, my opinion may be a little unqualified, but for right now I just throw crap out here on the webs and hope somebody finds interest in it. But these people that do it for a business, there's there's a formula and there are things you do and things you don't do. And unfortunately, <coughs> one of the rules is uh, negativity gets clicks. And I've seen quite a few of them admit to this, even if it is just a thumbnail with clickbait or something like that, negativity gets views. It is what it is. That's uh, the world we live in. And so I get it. Um, I'm going to try to continue to put positive things out on this channel. I think that's how we should approach it. There are so many things against us in today's society. So many things against 
our way of life, against our way of thinking, sometimes not just as bikers, but sometimes as men, because I know the majority of my viewing audience is male. YouTube tells me that. The analytics let me know that you're mostly men, but as men, a lot of us are old school men, have old school values. That's part of the biker tradition. We do things the old school way. There's a lot of things that are trying to wipe that out. I think we need to stand together in this community and present a united front against those things that would bring us down. Uh, being funny is one thing. Being sarcastic is, is another thing. And those are okay. I get those. I'm a sarcastic person too. But to literally reach out and attack another YouTube creator that you don't even know in real life, that you've never met, nine times out of ten it comes out that you don't even know the background of, I, I think that's unnecessary. I, I don't want to do that. I, I have two creator friends that I could tell them anything and they could tell me anything in return. And one of them, uh, up until recently, lived two-thirds of the way across the country, which Kind of helped because we struck up a bond because he was from Michigan and I was from Ohio. So, of course, we're going to be cool. But the other one lives not too far. But, again, I'll give a shout out. It's it's Harley Fatboy Jr. And uh, uh, I hope I'm saying the channel right, but Mikey, Mikey, Moto Psyche. Uh, I just call him Mike, but Michigan Mike. They've been really, really helpful when I've decided to throw in the towel and say, I'm not going to make a YouTube channel anymore or get really down because my skills haven't come up to par as fast as I think they should. Uh, I have to realize I'm not a, not a spring chicken anymore. So the learning curve takes a little bit longer when you get upper middle aged. Uh, if it wasn't for YouTube, I probably would not have met them. And I considered them both very valuable people in my life. The bonds that we share, the commonalities again, common interests, common hobbies, is way more important than anything negative that could be thrown out there in the ether. I hate the term, can't we all get along? Because no, no, we can't all get along all the time. I, uh, that's fine. That's human nature. I don't get along with everybody all the time. I'm not always positive. I'm not always, how do they say it? rainbows and unicorn piss. Life is hard. Life is rough. But this is entertainment. Sometimes it's educational, but for the most part, YouTube is entertainment. There's no room for stuff that is going to poison you. Uh, and that's what negativity does. Negativity poisons you. I think the title of this video is going to be Stop Punching Each Other. That's the message that I want to put out. You have hands. And you can do one of a few things with them. You can either reach out to strike someone or you can reach out to lift someone up. I prefer the latter. I prefer to help lift people up. Um, just kind of throwing this out there. Stop punching each other. Uh, if you're new on YouTube, find positive ways to throw your message out there and to grow your channel and do whatever it is you want to do for attention. There are ways to do that, and if you reach out to the YouTube community, they will help you find those ways. They will they will lift you up. They have with me. I wouldn't be even near where I am now if it wasn't for fellow YouTubers saying, hey, come on, we'll show you what we did. We'll help you out. So if you're new, just starting out, reach out. Hell, I'm, I don't have 100,000 subscribers, but I've been on here a while and uh, and have talked to enough people i'll even give you advice like i said i'm not not black dragon or insane throttle those guys have i, I doubt i'll ever reach their level I, I don't have that kind of talent but i'm having fun and you can have fun too but have fun in a positive way out there thanks for watching if you've watched this long i appreciate all at the moment 77 of you that have subscribed to my channel uh, wouldn't hurt my feelings if you spread it around and maybe invited a few more people i'm gonna be very very happy when i reach triple digits but in the meantime i'm gonna appreciate every single one of you 77s that have uh, decided to 
join me on my journey. Yep. Help a brother out. Uh, shoot me a like. You're probably already subscribed. If you're not, please do so. And uh, throw me a comment. In the meantime, do what you love. Do it safely and do it with purpose. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.